Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome to this Jamaican type family. So today's video, we will be doing natural hair. I'm going to attempt flexi rods in my hair. The last time I did perm rods, they weren't my absolute best hairstyle because it was my first time trying it. But today we're going to do some flexi rods, which I feel like will be more of a challenge because the rods are longer and it doesn't have that clip over anyways 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 the product that i'll be using today is from diva curls and they sent me a pr box with a new product that they have just got the box and everything first impression of the product so the product is called super stretch coconut curl define and control so this is what the product looks like i've tried diva curl products before I actually love them I'm very selective with some of the products that I like so it smells like coconut of course it's a coconut curl cream yeah this is what it looks like and apparently this product is supposed to help with stretch um so we are going to test that out because if you guys don't know my hair is taper cut okay so my hair is just washed it's still a little bit damp and it's not stretched so we won't be using heat we're just going to test the product for what it says it does okay so let me read the back of it to see exactly if i'm supposed to use it as is or supposed to dry my hair or whatnot it says if you have super curly hair like i do right now and want stretch curls without using definition this multi-use styler has your name all over it <laughs> Okay, it elongates curls without compromising definition while coconut oil controls shine and moisture. But how do I use it though? So it says I'm supposed to press the super stretch into clean wet hair in a downward motion, don't scrunch. And for stretch style, like a twist out or bantu knots, apply on wet or damp curls. So first, since this is a tapered cut, I'm going to start with the more plumped or juicy thick ones first and then the thinner ones on the shorter sides. Okay, so this is how thick our sections are going to be. So if you look at the consistency, it's very thick and I actually really like creamy products because I find that they hold my hair way better. So they said to do it in a downward motion. So I'm a bit heavy handed with products, so I might use a lot. But look how, look how curly my curls are already. We wanna make sure that we get the ends because I really like the ends could make or break when you do these perm rods. So what I'm gonna do is, because the ends are very important, so we're gonna start here. I'm gonna go under. Make sure your ends are secured. Wrap them very tight. Smooth it out. And then roll upwards. Once it's super tight, well not super tight, but snug you know, and I'm going to bend the rod this way. And then that's that. So again, downward motion. And at this point, you should already see your curls starting to clump together. And then I'm going to do a slight twist. Get my flexi rod then we're starting in the middle under so make sure that your ends are secured so i'm just going to retwist my ends put it under the flexi rod And also, I should mention what is vitally important with doing these rod sets and even a twist out is to make sure that you have trimmed ends or they don't come up very well. So you gotta make sure that your ends don't get frizzy.
guys, so I've done the flexi rods on about 70% of my hair. I didn't do the very back because I didn't feel like gripping on to dear life. So instead, with the back, I'm going to use the curling cream and a little bit of styling gel and just try to do a little bit of definition. So we're going to sit for a while, for about a couple hours for this baby to dry. I don't think I can go to sleep like this, so I need to dry before nighttime because there's no way I can sleep with this. So I'd advise you to like try to do it like high afternoon, early in the morning so that it could dry throughout the entire day. So yeah, so I'll be back with you guys after it's dried. So it is a brand new day. I ended up sleeping with the rust in my hair because it was just not drying fast enough so I'm like you know I'm gonna sleep on it at least try to sleep on it and then unravel it so I'm trying to finish this video like right now so it's been over at least 15 hours since I've done it it must be dry by now so we're gonna unravel it and see how she's looking Is it possible that there is still wet? But then again, it's because it's a flexi rod, so there's not much air going through the rods, especially because I did them so tight. <laughs> so this one has to definitely go back in because that is not ready. Okay guys, so, so far I've had maybe one or two, maybe five pieces that didn't dry so well. Especially this one right here in the middle, it's like still wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blow dryer. I didn't want to use blow dryer, but instead of hot, I'm going to put it on warm and just put it on the hair just for maybe five minutes. If it ain't dry yet, I can't even bother to care right now. So we're gonna use the Jamaican black castor oil on the tip of my fingers while I unravel the hair. Okay guys, so here is the final do. I did a little slight mohawk pinup situation going on just for a little bit of style because I felt like it just being out was kind of all over the place. But final review on the product. All in all, I would say this product is super moisturizing than anything else. My hair is soft it doesn't feel crunchy it doesn't feel dry it's it, it's actually really soft and almost like an oily texture maybe that has to do with the castor oil but before i even put the castor oil in my hair my hair was just soft and moisturized i don't know about you guys but it looks pretty moisturizing to me now as for the super stretch considering that i did my hair super wet and my tight my curls are extremely tight i think it did a really good job of giving me definition and some stretch. I felt like if I had a little bit of pre-stretch, I felt like the stretch would have even been more. 
so i feel like this would do like super bomb in a twist out or a braid out but as for a flexi rod set it did a really good job so i'd say it's super moisturizing it had some control um over my curls in terms of giving me some definition I felt like it didn't dry so quickly. It took a while to dry, but then again, that also has to do with your hair porosity and also it has to do with flexi rods because I feel like flexi rods took a longer time to dry than if I had used perm rods. So the, I had to take that into consideration that it's the method I use with the product drying in my hair. So it didn't dry the fastest, but it's moisturizing. It gave me adequate stretch. And yeah, overall, I'd say the product is worth it, but I still got a little bit of some frizzy ends, even though I did have a slight trim. So I'd say the least, um, the least thing about it was the control in the definition of the curls. But then again, I decided that I'm going to try it in a twist out. So guys, look out for that video where I'll try this product in a twist out to see if it will really give me that ultimate stretch okay guys so that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any comments any thought process have you ever tried this product before just give me a little comment in the comment section tell me what you guys think you can follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef and that is all that i have for you guys today one big up on yourself bye guys Mwah.